In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Very good morning, everyone. We come to the end of our fifth week of Lent, and as we prepare ourselves uh, for Holy Week in a few days, uh, we walk that way of the cross with the Lord, and perhaps more so this year than in times past. So let us prepare ourselves as we acknowledge our need still to be reconciled with God, with our brothers and sisters, and pray that the Lord make straight the path for us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the passion of Christ, grant through her intercession that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son, and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. The Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my, In my distress, distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress. My deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. In praise, praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Breakers of death surged round me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In, In my distress, distress I called upon the Lord, and he 
you heard my voice. Your lips, which you may wordly proclaim this holy gospel and preach this holy word in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Lord, our spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father, but which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, This is not written in your law, I said you are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, Scripture cannot be set aside. Can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I did not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not, do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign that everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. many of us, as we get older especially, begin to see our parents in us. Certainly when a, a baby is born, we look to see the features from a parent. This is the dad's eyes, this is his mother's mouth. But as we get older, and in my case, I begin to see things my dad did, little things, mannerisms. And it's amazing how we do reflect our parents. Jesus in the Gospels today says, he does the works of his father. He does the works of his father. Father is in him, and he's in the Father. Nothing unusual in that, because we have the same thing to some degree. But clearly, Jesus' works were amazing. The Pharisees didn't want to believe it. Miracles, signs, and wonders, as they say in the, in the scriptures, to prove that Jesus is who he says he is. The Pharisees did not want to believe it. In fact, many people didn't want to believe. The good things people do. Because it convicts us that maybe we're not as good as we think we are. Jeremiah in the first reading was being persecuted too because he was trying to warn Israel and show Israel from the Lord's guidance how they're supposed to behave. It's interesting to see how, how we behave. And during this time of Lent, especially this time when we're kind of isolated, it's a chance to examine ourselves perhaps in more detail of course, with the scriptures to see how we fit, how we are carrying out what God asks us to do. Are we different from others because we are Catholic, because we are Christian? In this time, we're, we're kind of on our own to some degree. Are we backing away from things we normally do for our faith journey? Soon we're backing away from all the things that the world throws at us, sporting events, other events, crowds, gathering. But are we backing away from what God has us to do too. The three pillars of Lent, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, even during this time of social distancing, 
We can still do those things. We can still, through prayer, pray for those in need. Pray perhaps more earnestly for our world, for into the pandemic. Fast from the things we we normally would do. Certainly we're forced to fast from all these other events we would go to and spend money on. But are we fasting from things that we shouldn't be doing? We're fasting from Mass, certainly physically. But are we engaging ourselves with Mass? Are we engaging ourselves during this time when we live stream Mass to actually go through the motions of activity that we would normally do? Kneeling, standing, in response to the, to the Psalms, for example. No, I'm skipping. For passing from doing things that we know we spend money on, are we giving to those who are working to support others? Who are going out for their volunteering to bring food to those who cannot leave their house at all? Who are trying to do things to improve our situation? To do research to get over this pandemic? Are we giving up our time, perhaps if we are capable and can leave the house, to serve those in need, those who who need things, or reaching out to others. Perhaps maybe more so than we do normally because we're not going to the events of the world. You have a t-shirt I often wear around youth that says Catholicism is not a spectator sport. Certainly right now we may feel like we're a spectator sport, but we shouldn't be. Perhaps even more so now can we find ways, great ways to engage as, as many people in our community are. People are moving from baking whiskey to making hand sanitizers. There are things we can do spiritually and physically to bring a world that's different, that shows that Christ is in the world and Christ is with us in the world. He's trying to move us forward each and every day when we're perhaps going into distress. He does hear our voice. Can we be a manifestation of Christ in the world? even in this difficult time, social distancing and isolation. God calls us to do those things. As we come upon Holy Week this week, perhaps it's a time to really make sure we are participating in the events of the week. We post and will be posting live stream the events of Holy Week. Participate. Help God know that, people know that God is still in our world, in our midst, and He's with us. Trusting in the Lord of hosts, let us gather our needs and petitions and offer them to Him. For all ministers of the Church, may the Lord bless them in their demonstration of Christ's love through good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their work and encourage them in policies that recognize the dignity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to meet their daily needs, may God strengthen them with the spirit of fortitude and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may Christ enter our hearts more deeply and to prepare to enter Holy Week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all healthcare workers, nurses, doctors, first responders, helping care for those inflicted with this virus, that they may stay safe and healthy, and they may re remain vigilant in caring for those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may the Lord grant them eternal rest in the kingdom of God, especially the deceased members of the Delary family whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. For those who have asked for our prayer and for those who have no one to remember them today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all that is good. With confidence, we ask you to look favorably upon the prayers we bring to you now. In the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be made worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and to eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Julie Billiard, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family that you have summoned here before you today. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from, the, from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ and peace. On this day, we call this peccata mundi, Miserere novo peace, Agnus Dei, Quit omnis peccata mundi, Miserere novo peace, Agnus Dei, Quit omnis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. 
Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the blessing and peace of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you all today and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God.